this is a good cigar. It's the Monte Cristo 1935 anniversary. And this cigar is a good example of why it's still a good idea to check out what the heritage and established brands are putting up on the shelves these days. This is a great cigar. It's got outstanding construction and it's worth the money that it goes for on the shelf. The cigar was made as a collaboration between Rafael Nadal and AJ Fernandez. Altidus worked with the San Latano factory to put this blend out and it is an outstanding blend and I'll go through the flavor notes that I got out of it in a little bit, but we don't know much about the blend. The blend itself is basically undisclosed other than AJ Fernandez Nicaraguan tobacco. So it is a, so it is a Nicaraguan Puro. We know that much. And we know that it comes from A.J. Fernandez. And we know that Altidus, because it is commemorating that date in 1935 and the 85 years of the Monte Cristo brand, that they probably spared very little expense when it came to the tobaccos that they wanted A.J. to pull out and work with. And as far as the construction of the cigar, it's pretty much as good as it gets. The bunch, no voids in there at all. As you can see, the pack is even. It's a perfect medium pack even throughout. No hard spots on that band like you might usually get. The cap is applied very well. It's on there real nice and neat. As far as the wrapper, it's a beautiful wrapper, nice even color. The seams are almost invisible, so it was applied well. And there's maybe like one or two veins that I can see. So this is a high-end cigar. And because it's such a high-end cigar, because it commemorates that Monte Cristo brand, and because I think that Altidus was willing to give AJ the go on using some nice tobaccos, this cigar tastes delicious and it performs great. And because of that, it got the number two Cigar of the Year spot in 2021 from Cigar Aficionado. That's big praise from Cigar Aficionado, and that's the biggest list out there when it comes to Cigar of the Year. Whether or not you like that list, I know for me it's not my favorite. I like the Cigar Authority list. I like that they put out one cigar and I like the criteria they use. doesn't matter. This made that list. It was number two and that's high praise and I think it deserved it. So that is a decent amount of background on this cigar, Nicaraguan Puro from AJ Fernandez for the Altidus brand commissioned by Rafael Nadal. So how did this thing taste? I'll let you know right now. As far as for me, on the first third, I got cedar, bay leaf, pine, black pepper, coffee, and a semi-sweet chewy caramel. Black pepper, cedar, and coffee on the retro hill. In the second third, I got black pepper, raisin, cedar, coffee, pine, walnut, and a starch or tapioca note with a nice thick smoke texture. Black pepper, gluten, and cedar on the retro hill. In that final third, I got cedar, walnut, black pepper, coffee, clove, nutmeg, tapioca, and like a subtle sweetness, maybe like a rice pudding with a bit of creaminess in there. Black pepper, cedar, and walnut on the retro hill. Overall, this cigar is a very balanced, well-blended, bold cigar with outstanding construction. And that's about as good a rating or review I could give to a cigar because those are exactly the attributes that I want out of a cigar to make sure that I have a good smoking experience. The 1935 is refined. It's an anniversary series. And in my opinion, it is a great choice for a special occasion. Now, I was talking about the Cigar of the Year Award and the Vitola that won that specific accolade was the number two, which is a Torpedo Vitola. I've had the Torpedo and I've had this Toro. I got a lot of good notes out of the Toro and I did also like the Torpedo. So for me, I think either way you go, this is good for a special occasion and any of the Vitolas you get in this 1935 anniversary are going to perform well and I think they're going to give you great flavor notes. The gradual transition from pine to nutty notes was pleasant and delivered a lot of complexity. I think this blend smokes in a way in which it's approachable for any cigar smoker, beginner, all the way to somebody who's been smoking for 30 years or more. I think this cigar will deliver and if you like the flavor profile, if it matches the kind of notes that you enjoy getting out of a cigar, I think it'll be just right and there's a good chance you'll have a good smoking experience with it. The construction was flawless on this cigar like I've mentioned a few times and that to me actually complements the well done branding for this cigar, which I haven't mentioned yet, but I think this is nice classic branding. The colors work with the wrapper. It looks very clear. You know what this is. This is gonna be a heritage brand, Monte Cristo, and it's gonna be good, and it's worth, in my opinion, the price tag 
because of all those things that come together, the blend, the flavor notes, the construction, the way it performed when I was smoking it, and the branding that gives you a nice luxurious vibe or motif. I'm personally glad that this blend is out there. I know it's a little bit expensive, but for me, I'm definitely gonna keep a few of these in the humidor so that when I know I wanna have a good experience, this might be the one that I take out. I think it was well worth that number two spot on the Cigar Aficionado Cigar of the Year list in 2021. So we are at the almost at the end of the year. We're in November. Cigar Aficionado is going to start working on their new Cigar of the Year list. What cigars do you think are going to be on there? For me, I think the Molotov by Dissident has a good chance. The Namakubi from Room 101, I think, has got a good chance. I think any of the two main blends that Ricky Rodriguez just put out with West Tampa, I think those have a good chance. But mainly I'm excited to see what they come up with. Maybe it'll be a Cuban cigar this year. I don't know. I'm also excited to see what Cigar Authority comes up with, see what they choose this year. We're getting to the end of the year, so we're going to get a Cigar of the Year award list from a lot of different places. And I'm excited to see all of it because I think it adds a little bit of fun and excitement to the end of the year. And that's it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content on the way and have a good one.